Happy Couscous Friday. In this quest for perfection of the couscous, we're going to repeat that seven vegetable couscous from last week. Just some tweaks that people mentioned in the comments. If I do something wrong, make a mistake, write so in the comments. If you see other people writing that, just give it a thumbs up so I know kind of what the majority opinion on things is. Let's get started. First thing someone said was, if you heat up olive oil, it's gonna lose its nutrition benefits. So we're gonna swap it for a cheaper sunflower oil to fry the onions at first, and then we'll add some olive oil at the end for taste. No one disagreed with frying the onions first. Eyes watering from the onion, check. A step I've yet to master is opening the couscous bag properly. It spilled all over when I did that. Uh, I put about uh, 300, 400, I'll just add a half kilo in there. We have a lot of couscous today. Water to the couscous. New full glass, make it real moist today. I think they said I didn't do enough. I don't know if that olive oil counts for being heated in the couscous, but we'll put some of that in there. Yeah. And I'll give it a mix. Uh, it's looking fluffy already. And a lot of couscous, a lot more than last time. Which is good, we'll eat it. This pumpkin is actually from 10 days ago at the souk. It's still holding up pretty good. No mold or soft spots. I'm gonna just throw the whole thing in because I don't want it to go another week. And last week I was wrong. I said I didn't like these. Turns out I love them more are going in today than last time I bought extra batch at the souk. Take the big ones, leave the small ones for the soup. All right, onions turning translucent, not burned yet. Get the tomato spices in there. Someone said add tomato at the end, and someone said it's good to let the tomato stew. I agree with the let the tomato stew guy. Hopefully it'll even get fried and caramelized, add a little flavor, going directly into the oil here. I always use my knife to give it a little stir. It's easy, it's in my hand. Okay, and spices. This is what I got left from spices a couple weeks ago. My couscous mix from the man at Anza Souk. Thank you, he makes a delicious spice blend. I wish I knew exactly what was in it. Next time, ask a few more questions about what I'm actually putting in this. So right now I'm blind when it comes to spices. If I were to make this in America, I wouldn't be able to do it without that Anza Soup guy to make my special blend here. Stirring with the knife again, let the spice mixture infuse with the oil, onion, and now I'm gonna turn up the heat and add the water. This would be the time I add salt and pepper as well. Can't forget that. Yeah. Couscous bay. Pepper. Someone said a lot of pepper, so I'll do two pinches this week. One more thing before things start get rolling. Cilantro and parsley in a bunch. Add it to that mix. All right, the boil is happening. Something I forgot last week, some Moroccan tea. Just kidding, I soaked some chickpeas in here. Uh, we missed these last week. Adds protein to this veggie couscous. It's kind of like a must, or else you're just, just eating veggies and need some protein in there. I want those chickpeas soft. Maybe they could go in later, but I want them well cooked for Rumi. Pumpkin, diving in. So much pumpkin. <laughs> <laughs> Maybe too much pumpkin. The, it's almost overflowing already with pumpkin. And let's just put these guys in whole too because they're small. I call them these and because I don't really know. Are they turnips? You tell me. Uh huh. I got this guy. I believe in be a rutabaga. I'm going to skin him and put him in now too. Gotta get those seven veggies in. There you go. And now let's put the couscous on top. Couscous on top. Get the rest of this couscous in there. We're picking a lot of couscous today. I think I got a little too excited. I think I gotta make sure this is boiling before I put this couscous on. My friend said, oh, I think couscous is cooked without a lid, but I, I think he's never cooked couscous before. Yeah, still needs to boil first before I start that timer. Okay, first round, set the timer. Oh yeah, steaming in there. Round one complete. Round two veggies, someone said carrot would be Round one, but they came really good last time, so still round two in my book. 
cabbage. Someone also said that was round one, but it was perfectly done last time, so I'm still keeping it round two. Do not disturb the pumpkin too much, but yeah, pumpkin's already pretty much cooked, so maybe it is a round two veggie next time. Now I'm supposed to fluff this couscous, but this steam is not very inviting. Uh, but I gotta wet my hands and get in there because the knife's not gonna do it for me. So last time uh, the video didn't record. Rumi woke up from a nap and I was rubbing the couscous really well with my hands, but... And you can see it might be boiling a bit too much, it might be a bit too full, but... Sauce is gonna go in the couscous anyway, so... It'll be alright. Before burning my hands, I just let out some steam now. I'm learning to do this without the pain. And my last veggie in here is gonna be a zucchini, a deep green one. Pretty nice, I think. I'm gonna quarter that. That'll do. Okay, now another comment was really rub that couscous with your hands. Really getting into it today. Burning just enough. <sighs> Needs more water. Lid is on for final round. Rumi's getting hungry, so let's hurry up. One crucial mistake in buying this couscous spot is not getting a lid that fits very well. You can see the steam escape there, but yeah, this lid is uh, clearly a secondhand lid. What the heck happened to it? But here we got a nice seal, which is important. Oh no, I even see some leaking out there. Mm. What are you gonna do? Well, some of the scraps from the veggies, I'm gonna make some chicken stock for later. That'll be good soup too. Oh, there's a lot of liquid in there. All right, let the couscous complete. Couscous. So someone told me, you know, you're forgetting the smen. I went to the shop looking for smen. They didn't have a smen. I never see smen being sold at the souk, so we're gonna do another tip. This is a secret ingredient that they can't... Don't look in the kitchen. Huh? Get out of here. Secret ingredient. Oh my god. This is gonna make it extra delicious. Someone said that in the comments. Rub some of that in there. I'll make it fluffier. Let's see, let's see how that goes. That's at least gonna make it cooler and uh, able to handle it, that's for sure. Oof. Uh, stirring it with the zid. And it just melted in my hands. Oh, oh. There's gonna be a lot of couscous to sweep off the floor after this. It's okay, that's Andrea's job. It'll be a little humid and use that. Uh, Use a tool. It's too hot. You can see, made a little well in that couscous. I don't know. That's okay, I guess. Do we add salt to it? Pumpkin. We'll make our base so we can hide how much pumpkin actually is in there. I think the comments were right about the pumpkin. It could go in second round for sure. It's just kind of falling apart, not really al dente anymore. It's become mush. It's really hard to make it look pretty because everything's so hot you really can't arrange it too much. This couscous will have a good side or a bad side. This is the sauce. Uh, if anyone's got tips, if anyone's got tips how to make couscous look more beautiful and setting it up, it's appreciated. Uh, today's couscous, I think I overcooked it a little bit. I think everything's a bit too soft. Maybe the fire was too hot. But we're practicing, we're learning, and we're on the quest to perfect the couscous craft. Mmm, chickpeas are good. Alright, couscous here. Even more couscous there. Let's bring it to the baby. You happy, baby? Kaito? No, no. Couscous. Food so nice, they name it twice. Couscous. Is it good? 
Looks good. Kus kus. It's hot. Pus nam na. Mo dali ti nam na. To. To bos to. Yeah, get her some chickpeas on there. She'll especially like that. And one comment said, we got to eat it together out of the dish, Andrea. So no bowls for us. Okay, but you're cleaning the table. It's more romantic if we eat it together. Okay, okay. Is it romantic to clean all the tables? It'll taste better. Oh, and one more thing we're forgetting. What are we forgetting? No, no. Laban. Let's go get it. No, no. She can't wait, huh? Poor baby. Can you bring her beep? The only thing I don't like about couscous is a bib is ineffective with couscous. Rumi, how is it? Good. Give her some laban. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> yeah no, no, try it. Yeah. yeah. I think she'll like it. Oh, no. So no. And sauce. Andrea said if we're getting the sauce. So I get a yeah, couscous sauce. is dry. Couscous is dry. It's dry. I know, I tried it, it wasn't very good. <laughs> That's why I asked you for sauce. Ah, okay, sauce will make it better. That's why we have sauce, no? Nom nom. Nom nom, nom nom. I also think it needs more salt. Nom nom. Nom nom. We gotta move this closer to us, no? No, I don't know how to imagine. We're gonna eat it like this, all together. Family couscous time. Even though it's not perfect, we're working on it. What is this? That's a rutabaga or something like that. The one that you said you like to eat raw, but. Mm -hmm. Very good. Yeah, more sauce, huh? Yeah, and there is no sauce on the. No, no, no. That's why you add your own to your taste. You like it saucy. Oh yeah, no salt. Do you salt couscous? Are you gonna make the couscous next time? No. <laughs> Just because that one comment said, I should make couscous. Uh-oh. <laughs> <laughs> She's thinking, what the heck? Why do you guys get to eat out of the big bowl? And I have to eat by myself. I like the chickpeas. Me too. So what's the surprise? Put butter on the couscous. Yeah, I don't feel it yet. <laughs> it's too much couscous. Too little butter, I guess. More chickpeas for her. You got some cabbage over there. Romy and I will eat couscous with our hands. She's already it. eating with her hands. That's how you do it, Rumi. Good job. Is it good? Mama. Mama spoon. <laughs> no. Mama. No more couscous for her. Huh? No more couscous for her. Why? <laughs> Look at that bag. Yeah. Those two on it. Mmm. Num num. Num num. Another couscous Friday where Rumi needs a little break from the meal to get out, run around, cuddle, play some games. But in the end, she's the last person standing, still eating the couscous. Still eating Rumi. She's got the whole eating with your hand thing down pretty good, I would say, huh? Yeah, there's a bird. There's a big seagull up there. Good eyes, Rumi. Num, num. Yeah, and there's a lot of num num right here for you. <laughs> oh no. <laughs> she doesn't want to eat out of her bowl. She's going to eat from the big tajin. 
Definitely need a sweep in here later. Yeah, deep cleaning. You're still going for it, huh? Nom nom. Nom nom, pizza, bravo. Bird, where's bird? Wow, two birds now. Two birds. But well, I see. It. I want to. Oh yeah, I see him there. Good eyes, Romy. It's so far away. Nom nom, pizza. They're still going, huh? For me. Is it num num? What is that? Num num. Yeah, it's the same as in your corner, Rumi. What a fun dish. It's hot, be careful. Oh yeah, it looks like good bite. <laughs> yeah, birds are up there. <laughs> Words. Words. Wow. Are you done? Are you finished? Or you want more? Yeah, you gotta go wash your hands now. Go to mama. Good girl. And the aftermath. Oh boy. Yeah, I'll wash your hands. Let's do it, Rumi. You're stuck? That's not how you use the caca the toilet. This is how you do it now, Rumi? Do you like this? Ermi, Moots is on top of me.